Hey guys, it's Drew again. You ever heard the term, I've got some good news and some bad news? Well, I've got a little bit of that for the care package that I got from a fellow YouTuber. Let's check it out. So my story goes back to about the National, right after the National. I've been watching a lot of National pickup videos, and I know a lot of you guys have. It's just been an awesome time just kind of connecting with those who were there, who got to experience uh, the YouTube Hangout, and just all the amazing tables, the products, the displays, uh, the items. And it was just, it's been fun to kind of relive this stuff through other friends, but a lot of us didn't get to go. And um, But uh, something I, I did... Um, get which was quite a thrill for me was uh was i got a text uh, uh from scott from reindeer studios uh, about a week and a half ago and he's like hey drew um you know missed you at the national uh i was curious what's your mailing address i wanted to sell you, send you some um of my custom cards and i was like really happy that he wanted to include me because i wasn't there and uh, so i gave him my address and was very thrilled to do that and um so anyway, uh, he did this last year for me, and I thought it was a, a great idea, and uh, and I really appreciated him reaching out to me. Um, kind of stick that part of the story aside, and let's stick to the next thing. So uh, just the other day, I got a package, and I've already opened it and looked at it, but I'm going to show you. Uh, it was from another fellow YouTuber, and inside, uh, it was actually from Don, Don's Field of Dreams, and uh, he left a little note. So I'll read it. it. says, hey, Drew, thanks for all the help on the display cases. Absolutely, Don. It's my pleasure. You mentioned if you ever started a set, it would be this one. Uh, so here's a card to get you started, Don. And uh, Don and I were talking on the phone a few weeks ago, and, and we were talking about displays and how different cards display really well. Uh, Don's got some amazing displays. He's put up some great choices and just different things um, with his uh, his Hall of Fame run in Bowman and as well as 56. And, and then this set... Um, and uh, I, I knew exactly what set he was talking about. And um, so I'm going to pull it out and I'll, and I'll show you what the card that Don gave me. And Don, you know, I, I did call you and I thanked you on the phone for this and, and just we chatted for a little bit. But it was just an, uh, it was an amazing gesture for you to do this for me. This is a card or a, from a set that I've never had any card from this set before. And uh, one of the reasons is, is I love the set so much, but I didn't necessarily want to do the whole set and I couldn't figure out which one card what I want to represent the set because there's some great sets or some great cards and players within the set and what it is it is from the uh, Topps stand-up set and what he gave me was this beautiful Joe Torrey and I absolutely first of all appreciate it and just love this card so much um, it's just perfect it's right up my alley uh, you know ungraded touch of wear which just shows me some some kid love this thing for for a long time and um of course if you've never seen them they're blank backed and i never knew which card to get because i'm a big hall of famer guy and uh, i think two of the biggest ones are kofax and clement and i have a lot of their cards or all their base run cards from tops and uh, but i wasn't sure which one to get and to be honest with you uh this is the card this is the card that i probably would have ended up getting because of a lot of different things first of all i don't know if i have a tory um, playing days card uh, outside of something that may be in a set that I've built. So as far as an individual card, getting Joe Torre. Second of all, uh, look at the pose, uh, the great catcher pose, you know, the way they used to just turn their regular cap around backwards without a helmet. Um, a great picture of that, that huge catcher's glove he's got squatting down. And to be honest, while I've seen these cards for years and years, I've never looked closely at these cards before. This is the first time I've ever noticed that there is a tiny, let's see it on his knee, little facsimile signature. I didn't know that. So it's just cool. It's like a discovery of this card and more of this set. And I absolutely am thrilled to have this card. So Don, I just really appreciate this. This this is the love and the community that, that we've all received and, and hopefully given. And I just love it. And uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to show where I have actually put this up in my case of my 100 cards and uh, and how it fits in beautifully. But back to the bad news. Uh, so when I called Don to thank him for this, um, you know, we were just chatting and having a good time. And he was telling me a story about something he had just experienced that day. And he said, yeah, actually, uh, I didn't know your address. So I got Scott to text you. And he said this whole fake story about, you know, he was going to send um, his custom cards and, and just so he could get the address. So Don, I appreciate you going out of your way to kind of make it, you know, on the little slide, a little download to get my address, which it was really cool. But, but to be honest, um, you know, I, I thought, um, 
thought Scott was my best friend. You know, he, he mentioned it before. I know he has. And I was kind of confused why I didn't have my address because he has sent me stuff, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, I got the, the Mossy Christmas card. Of course, everybody who's ever watched YouTube got one of those. And I, not that I don't appreciate it because I knew I was actually a little higher up on his list. But, um, but you know, I never... Um, I, Don, I appreciate this, but Scott, I, I don't know. I gotta go.